fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual, a man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. Come on, hurry up. Come on! Count out $5,000. Uh, just $5,000? Yeah, no more, no less. Yeah. There's $5,000. Uh, don't you want? No, put the rest back. Now, come on, get in the closet. Take the box with you. Uh, come on, somebody might steal it. Kind of funny. I wonder what he's doing in the Wells Fargo office. Maybe we better have a look. Let me out! Help! Help! Let me out! Over here. Sheriff, we've been held up. Well, what do you mean? We've got the strong box. Full of money. Well, he only took $5,000 to be exact. Only $5,000? It was him. That probably was Jim Andrews that just rode away. He took just $5,000. 5,000 price on his head. That means just one thing, he's headed for outlaw town. Well, if he ever reaches that place, we'll never see him again. Uh, maybe this is one bad man I can catch before he gets to outlaw town. Breach. Ah, uh, put your gun away, Thomas. Howdy. We haven't crossed trails in quite a long time. Sheriff Wayne, <laughs> looks like you two were in a hurry. Sure was. But I guess you gave me the slip. He had too much of a lead on me. Maybe you saw him, mister. He just held up a Wells Fargo office. Yeah, name's Andrews. Andrews? Jim Andrews? Yeah. Well, then you did see him? Yes. I caught a glimpse of some fellow pounding leather. We might as well go home. He's well inside outlaw time by now. I think I can capture him for you. What? Were what? you on your way to that place? Yes. It's been a disgrace to the county long enough. <laughs> oh, I know it's not your fault, Sheriff. Well, we don't have any authority in that town. It belongs to a man by the name of Jack Burke. The whole place is private property. He even hires his own constables. A lot of men and outlaws have been hiding there for some time. They sure have. Now, take this Andrews I was chasing. He escaped from state's prison about a week ago. He'll be welcome in Burke's community. I'll tell you, we'll ride in with you. No, you're too well known. Yeah, I know, but... Sheriff, we can reestablish law and order and get rid of that place once and for all. If you listen to a plan, I think we'll work. Well, I don't know. It's pretty dangerous for you, but... I got an idea. You're the cure outlaw town needs. You and your deputy go back to town. Tyler here we will get in touch with you later. Adios. Are you back again? Yeah, and this time I'm staying. I hope you're not wasting any more of Burke's time. Go on. Where's Burke? In his office. Say, I got it. Howdy, Mrs. Burke. Jim. So you came back. Well, Andrews? I can pay my way now. Here it is, 5,000. Where'd you get it? What difference does it make? Can I stay? Yes, you can stay. Thanks, Mr. Burke. You know all my rules. Yes, sir. That'll be all, Andrews. I'll send for you when something comes up. Jack, don't you think That's that... enough, Edith. But surely there are others. He's so young. This boy has brains and nerve. He came here without any money and I wouldn't take him in. So he went out and got the 5,000 rather than quit. Why this sudden sympathy for Andrews? He wouldn't understand. Wouldn't I? I told you before, I'm telling you again. Don't meddle in my business affairs. And don't get any silly ideas about running away again. You wouldn't do that, would you? No, 
Your constable seems to have an uncanny way of finding people. We don't want any more trouble between us, do we? Him look out for Outlaw Town. Yes. I'm going in, Tano. Try to get into town without him seeing you. Yes, Kimasabe. Me meet you inside. Hold it there, mister. I want to see Jack Burke. All right, go ahead. Somebody will be waiting for you. We have a visitor. Look, he's wearing a mask. Give me a card. I'll take care of this. Looking for a friend of yours, mister? Not exactly a friend. I'm looking for Jack Burke. Inside. Sure. Go in the other room, Edith. I have some business to discuss. I'm Jack Burke. What can I do for you? I want to stay in your town for a while. Got any money? How much do I need? That depends upon how much you're worth. Dead or alive? Why? I sell insurance. Insurance? If you wanted for a robbery, $5,000 reward, dead or alive, you pay me the $5,000 in cash. What do I get for it? Protection from the law, good place to hold up, and men to work with you when needed. Not bad. Any other conditions? Several. Number one, I get half of everything you take. Number two, once you've joined, you don't leave town without seeing me first. And number three? I get paid in advance. It's the price on you. I haven't seen my posters yet. This ought to do for the time being. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand, huh? Well, that'll do for now. How did you happen to come to my town? I knew I could hold up here for the time being. I'm planning something big. I'll need some men for the job. Well, you've come to the right place, but I'll need to know more about your plans. Wells Fargo ships considerable gold from Canyon City to Watkinsville. That's all flat country through there. No place for an ambush. I know of a certain big shipment they're sending by the way of Flat Rock Pass. Yes, you could stop a wagon there. When did you want to acquire that gold? Oh, maybe tomorrow. I think I can supply the men you need. We'll talk about it later. Where did you operate last? I never heard of you before. Lots of places. You'll hear a lot about me before long. He's one of us now, Constable. Give him a bunk and show him where to stable his horse. Thanks. Stable's over there, and I'll show you to your bunk later. Good enough. George. Right over to Canyon City. See what you can find out about the Wells Fargo Company sending a shipment of gold through Flat Rock Pass. All right, boss. Mrs. Burke. Jim, come inside. I want to talk to you. Sit down, Jim. Jim, you must leave this place. Why, Mrs. Burke? Think of the disgrace you'll bring on your family. I have no family. My father and mother were killed when our shack burned down. That left me without a thing. Well, surely you could find work someplace. Nothing that paid enough to support a wife. You're married? Well, I was gonna get married when I got back from that trail herd job. If they hadn't been rustlers, I'd have made enough to start a little home with Ruth. What became of Ruth? She came to visit me often while I was in prison. Said she'd wait for me. Then why did you escape? Because I knew it would take years to get started again. I talked to a man in prison that 
knew about your husband and... And so you decided to come here and make a lot of crooked money quickly. That's about it, Mrs. Burke. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to Ruth to keep her waiting. The fairest thing you could do for Ruth is to get out of here and go straight. Maybe if I'd talked to you before, well, things could have been different. But now I... Jim, I'll help you get the money back from Jack. Run away from this place and forget all about it. Even if I decided to do that, Mrs. Burke, I couldn't. Nobody walks out on your husband alive. Me find way in town. Climb rocks. No one see Tonto. Good. Our plan is working so far. Did they go to ambush gold ship in Flat Rock? Yes. You ride to Sheriff Wayne. Tell him to have his posse hidden there. Burke was impressed with my story about the wagon changing its route. He'll be there tomorrow with his entire gang. You see outlaw Jim Andrews? Yes. He'll be on the job. No, he won't. So, your lawmen, you plan a trap for my husband and his men. I'm sorry you overheard that, Mrs. Burke. Why? Because I'll have to stop you from warning your husband. You wouldn't accomplish anything by that. Jack will have his men looking for me in a very few minutes. But I'll make a bargain with you. A bargain? Yes. I want you to take a man out of this town for me. See that he never comes back and that he goes straight. Who is this man? Jim Andrews. Andrews? Why are you so interested in him? Because he's the youngest one that ever came to this place. You see, if Jack and I had a son, he'd be about Jim's age. Then he told me about the girl he was going to marry. I want Jim Andrews to go back, serve out his time, and marry that girl. I'm not so sure we can help young Andrews. He's determined to be an outlaw. Perhaps I can get the money back from my husband. You'll see that he returns it to the rightful owner? I know the money came from Mrs. Burke. I intend to see that it gets back there one way or another. Please, give the boy a chance to return it himself. Burke will expect Andrews to be at Flat Rock with his gang tomorrow. Then you must refuse to take him. And if I don't? Then I'll tell my husband exactly who you are. I'll do what I can, Mrs. Burke. I'm sure you will. She good woman. Yes, I believe she is. Tommy, you ride to Sheriff Wayne. Then meet me here in the morning. Uh, me go. getting acquainted. Why? I sent a man out to ask you about that gold shipment. Well? You had it right. You don't trust anybody, do you, Mr. Burke? Not if I can help it. We'll throw in with you tomorrow. Good. How many men can I have? Well, let me see. Myself, the constable, Andrews, Frank, and George at six, counting you. There'll only be five. I don't want to take Andrews. Why not? Oh, he's too young. Not enough experience. I don't agree with you. Sorry, Burke. But I have to give the orders on this job. I know where we're going and how it's to be handled. Have it your way. Good. Last night, we ride to Sheriff Wayne. The sheriff understand our plans. Yes, Kim Wasabi. Him had posse waiting in Flat Rock. We'll be leaving within an hour. There'll be four men with me. When you see us right out, cut across the flats and get to the sheriff as soon as possible. What do you do with Jim Andrews? I haven't had a chance to talk with him yet. You think you can help, boy? Yes, I do. Before I leave, I'll try to get the money I gave Burke and the money young Andrews paid him. You let him return money to express office? I will if he wants to go straight. That good. If this works, Tonto. It'll mean the end of Outlaw Town. It works, Kimasabi. to do it. Here's your 5,000 and I'll give the other to Jim. Quick, inside. 
reach for your gun, mister. Get a rope. What's happened? My friend couldn't wait for us to complete the deal. He was trying to steal from me. Hey, what's this? Don't ask questions. Help tie him up. I'll be right back. Get your hat on. Why? We're going to Watkinsville on a shopping trip. A shopping trip? Yes, you can get that thread you've been wanting. But I don't feel equal to such a long ride. My plans have been changed. Do as I say. And hurry. This fellow's going to answer some important questions for me. Don't worry about him, Mr. Burke. He'll never get out of that chair. Now, the buckboard is out front, ready to go. Good. My wife's going with us. Mrs. Burke, why? Not your wife, Jack. She don't fit into ambushing a gold shipment. We're not going to carry out that ambush. Well, what are we going to do? I'll tell you later. Let's get going, Edith. Well, you look like the respectable wife of any respectable businessman. Have you got the thread you want? Let's go. I'm not taking Frank and George with us. Why? We'll need them. I'm running this. Frank, go up and stay with the lookout. George, there's a man tied up in my office. I want to find him. They want to get back. We're going to Watkinsville. Watkinsville? I can't even be seen in that town. You're getting yellow, Andrews. Now's the time to say so. I guess it's too late to turn back now. What'll we do? George says the gold will be in the express office in Watkinsville under light guard. They figure it'll be safe in the middle of town. Yeah? This should be easy for us. When we get to town, you two go in the back door of the office. Edith and I will be out front. Give the alarm in case anything goes wrong. See you right with others. Come here, quick. Just in time, Tano. W A T. Watkinsville. That's where they're going. What do we do with him? Tie him up while I get silver. Uh, there are two men at lookout. We'll take care of them on the way out. Get that box to the express office. Thanks for riding out to Splat Rock with me. Sorry I took you on a wild goose chase. Sure, I'm glad to get that gold safely into town. I wonder why Burke and his gang didn't show up at the ambush. I don't know. As soon as we get that shipment out of town for the first stage, we'll ride over to Outlaw Town and see if they can locate the masked man. That Burke and his wife. Wait. Something's wrong. Our friend isn't with him. How do, Miss Burke? Howdy, Jack. I haven't seen much of you folks around here lately. Hello, Sheriff. Mrs. Burke wanted to do a little shopping. You've come to the right place to get whatever you need, Mrs. Burke. Well, oh, Jack, I hope things have gone down a little in price. Reach. Hand over that old ship. It's in the safe. All right, get it. You just will get those things you wanted. Uh, just a minute, Jack. Uh, Sheriff, is uh, Mrs. Tucker still in town? Yes, uh, she's got a new baby girl. No. Well, let me see. Uh, uh, does that make five now? No, oh, six. That's uh, Ruth. Mm, Patty, that makes six. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sheriff, there will be. 
me the express office. Jack, don't do it. Don't do it. inside. Well, thanks to you, Jack Burke's notorious community's been wiped out, along with his gang. Well, Sheriff, I did have some help. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Burke, uh, what are you planning to do with Outlaw Town? Your friend here made a wonderful suggestion. Yes, what's that? I'm going to make it a decent place to live in. When Jim gets out, he promised to meet me there with a the girl he's going to marry. I'm going to give him a good job. Mrs. Burke, I had a long talk with Jim. He's promised to go straight. Oh, thank you. You will take good care of him, won't you? We'll be just as easy as possible on the boy. I can't see. Why, he's leaving. What's his name? That's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. Hello, Phil! 